stranger can turn an ordinary day into an extraordinarily awful day. Don't believe me? Think about the last time someone cut you off in traffic. A stranger can also turn an ordinary day into one that's truly special. Often it's the split second decisions we make in the midst of that stranger that can make the difference. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and decision makers, this is the story of how one such stranger I encountered and the decision I made changed the course of our day. The day in question was November 24th, 2019, and I was at New York City's JFK International Airport. It was five o'clock in the morning and I was crabby. The previous day, I endured an eight hour flight from Rome in Italy to New York. The flight itself wasn't turbulent, but some passengers were. In the back of the plane, a toddler threw a temper tantrum. If you think that's annoying, try listening to that for eight hours straight. The flight attendants and neighboring passengers did all they could to cheer up or distract this little girl, but nothing worked. I turned my iPod up as loud as it would go without destroying my hearing in order to drown out the sound. The lady sitting next to me ordered a second glass of wine from the flight attendant when he walked by. A few rows ahead of me, a man from New York took out his frustrations on the woman from Boston seated behind him. Stop bumping my seat. Your seat back is in my lap. What do you expect? After four hours and several verbal sparring matches, the New Yorker reached back and hit the Boston woman in the leg. If it weren't for the wine-slinging flight attendant walking by at just the right time, there would have been blood. The flight attendant separated the two passengers for the remainder of the flight, and those of us surrounding the altercation could finally breathe easier. Even after I got off the plane in New York, things didn't improve. My suitcase handle broke, so I had to stoop over in order to drag my suitcase along on its wheels through the entire airport. The line to go through customs was extremely long, and the New Yorker who hit the Boston woman was standing right behind me in line. I did everything I could to avoid eye contact with him. Then I endured a long wait to board a shuttle to my hotel near the airport where I would spend the night. The next morning, all I wanted was an uneventful flight from New York to Minneapolis where I would soon see my beloved husband and dog. But when I boarded the plane and arrived at my row, there was a man already sitting in my seat. Great, I thought. Here we go again. Sir, you're in my seat. I have seat 24C. Oh, I thought that was the window seat. We looked at our tickets to confirm our seat assignments. No, sir, 24C is the aisle seat. You have the window seat. I could feel the frustration rising in my chest. All I wanted was an easy flight home. Was that really too much to ask? Suddenly, a thought and a question popped into my mind. What if that gentleman needs that aisle seat? I wasn't traveling with anyone, so I could sit anywhere in that row. So I asked him, sir, do you need to take the aisle seat? Actually, yes, I do. 
I need the leg room. That's no problem, sir. I'll just take the open seat. I sat between the man named Tom and his wife named Jeanette, who moved over to the window seat just so she could have a better view. As I was sitting after, at first sitting between the couple, I felt like the other woman. But the more we chatted, the more at ease I felt. Tom and Jeanette showed me pictures of their kids, grandkids, and I showed them pictures of my husband, dog, and trip to Italy. It was the most positive flying experience I've ever had. I even helped them find baggage claim as soon as we arrived in Minneapolis and disembarked the plane. By focusing on the person in front of me and asking questions to determine what it was that he needed, I changed the course of our conversation and flight entirely for the better. One decision changed the course of our day. My friends, we live in a time where we are more divided than united, more isolated than together, more individualistic than collective. You have the opportunity every day to change someone else's day and life for the better or for the worse. Choose wisely, choose the better option. All it takes is one decision, one choice to put someone else's needs ahead of your own. All you must do is choose wisely. Madam Toastmaster.